The story of Hezekiah is one that can bring hope to all of us. <laughs> Hezekiah is sick. Uh, the prophet comes and says, this is the sickness you're going to die from. Put your house in order. Hezekiah turns his face to the wall and calls out to God, asks for grace, asks for mercy, asks for healing. God hears his prayer and answers. I know many times people ask, well, why does God answer some and not others? Why does God answer some prayers and grant healing and other times he doesn't? Well, we don't always know that answer, but the story of Hezekiah is, is an insight into some of what possibly might be the reasons. See, Hezekiah's life is restored in answer to his prayer, and, and yet his greatest failure, his greatest mistake, which will set Israel on a course for being taken captive, is made after his healing. If he would have if he wouldn't have been healed, that mistake wouldn't have been made. You see, Hezekiah has the messengers from Babylon come to Israel after they hear of his great healing. And they come and instead of praising God, Hezekiah shows them all the wealth of his kingdom. When they go back home, they tell their king, guess what? Israel's got a lot of wealth, all this gold there. And Babylon takes note. See, sometimes, God doesn't answer our prayers to keep us from making our greatest mistakes. Other times he answers our prayers in spite of the fact that he knows we're going to make great mistakes. But in it all, God is there for us in our mistakes and in our victories. So take courage and take comfort today in the knowledge that whether your prayer is answered or not, God will never leave you.